am in the grocery store right now. I have like two minutes before I need to go pick up uh, <laughs> my pepperoni at the uh, dog groomer, but I just wanted to go through. I am in the beverage aisle with obviously, uh, you know, Powerade Zero, we've got uh, Nestle Splash, we've got all of this stuff here. This has been coming up in my groups and uh, I just wanted to quick just go through um, this entire aisle so y'all understand my perspective on what you should be consuming and not um, and just having some awareness in terms of labeling. So propel water going to just go through here. Okay, so it says on here electrolyte water beverage, um, but in the ingredients, it's water, citric acid, um, all the stuff that you can't pronounce, um, pyridoxine, hydrochloride, I don't really know. It's just stuff that you can't pronounce. Read your ingredients just because it says zero carb, zero sugar, etc. doesn't mean it's good. And realistically, like this is not a good acceptable electrolyte. This is going to actually just not do you any favors. There's like less than 1% electrolyte in here. Get yourself some pink sea salt. So um, that's that same thing. Like all of these propel six packs. What Powerade Zero. Um, all right, I can't grab a regular one. It says nutrient enhanced water beverage. Um, again, same things, less than 1% of electrolyte and just zero, zero, zero on the label, but um, doesn't really, it's not really good for you. So stop drinking it. Um, here's by, I've actually never really looked into it. Um, one net carb per serving filtered by proprietary sweetener, erythritol, coconut water extract. Um, this is the coconut one. I, I would say this one's okay. Um, I wouldn't be drinking this stuff every single day, but I would, you know, if you need a little like something different here and there, that's totally okay. Here is a different one six grams of carbs, um, one sugar, but erythritol. So this is actually okay. Again, wouldn't drink it all day, every day, um, but definitely would, you know, have it for a little bit here and there. Um, all right. So watermelon hint water. I love hint water. It's essenced with, it's just fruit infused water, but there's zero carbs, zero sugar. There's zero, any bad things. It's just purified water and natural flavors. Those natural flavors are actually okay. Um, because it's just essenced water. So, okay. And that I'm actually going to buy two of these. <laughs> um, I usually order the hint water online, but you can definitely grab those at the grocery store. Um, here we go. I know these are kind of like a favorite, the ice. Let's read carbonated water, citric acid, sucralose, vegetable color would definitely not recommend any of this kind of stuff. It is not good for you. Um, the other thing is LaCroix water. I actually really like this brand. Um, everything is legit on there. Bubbly water. Let's take a look at this ingredients. I'm sorry, this video quality is probably not the best, but I wanted to get this done. Um, water natural flavor, I would say okay on that. Would probably want to like email the company and find out some more. Um, but again, definitely always just check your ingredients and make sure that, um, you know, there's no fake sugar, sucralose, maldextrin, um, acids, things like that. It just because it says like, look at this with antioxidants and vitamins, zero sugar colors made from natural sources, but like it's full of chemicals and grossness. So stop drinking this kind of stuff and start drinking, um, essenced water and things like that. All right, guys, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.